I'm coming. Whoa, this is my bike. I painted the side a long time ago, but today I want to redo the entire thing, customize the whole thing, add a bunch of things that will make my life easier, and redo the whole thing. I'm going to start by taking the whole thing apart. Okay, so I'm about to paint these two panels right here for the side of the bike, and I need to go get paint at the store, and this is a good time for me to show you the first main problem with my bike. Look. See this bag right here that's tied? That's where I put the art stuff when I leave in the store. I just tie it to the back and it like hangs off. I'm gonna try to hold my camera and take you guys. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna sort of get paint. Look how fast it is. It's literally right around the corner. So it's faster to take the bike than to drive. This is what I have to do every single time I buy stuff at the store. I'm gonna build like a basket on the back or like a trailer that I can attach to the back of the bike only when I need it. But first, I need to start with these two side panels. I think the vibe I wanna go for with this whole bike is like an army green tank kind of look. So I obviously just started by painting these side panels dark green. All right, while that dries, I'm also gonna work on this wood piece. Also with these two side panels, I'm gonna spray this part where it has like a little bend in the metal with a bit of a darker green. So it kind of has like a natural accent, almost like a shadow where the metal bent. I made this piece dark green, but I think it'll look better brown. I have an idea. All right, I'm gonna take these home, but on the way home, I'm gonna stop the store and get a bunch of stuff for the bike. This is the part that's gonna make it awesome. This is the part I was most excited for, just shopping. Oh, also look at that, 1978 Porsche 911. That's gonna be my next project. Stay tuned for that. I'm so excited for that. When I come back tomorrow, I wanna have all the stuff from the store and the side panels done so I can put them back on. I packed up the panels and grabbed some things from the store on the way home. And then I pretty much painted like a lighter green and darker brown accents on the side of it. So it kind of looked like a cartoon shadow. And then I went over those shadows with black and white accents to make the whole thing pop. Okay, these actually look cool. Look at this. It's kind of like a rustic cartoon look. I think they're gonna look really cool once I put them on the bike, but this piece is all dry now So I'm gonna paint it the same way I painted those green panels But instead I'm gonna use a dark brown and white to make the accent shadows Okay, I bought this box look at this thing I'm gonna attach it to the back of my bike right here It also has a little hole for a lock so I can like leave stuff in there and fit a bunch of stuff inside Let's tape this box Okay, now I'm gonna paint this thing to match the rest of the bike This is always the best part, ready? Looks way better, super simple, but it looks way better. The back basket's done, the two side panels are done, and the wood piece is done. Before I put stuff back together, I wanna like make everything, and then at the very end, put it all together so the bike like comes together. But next up. I got this thing. It's gonna hold my phone so I can attach this to the bike, and then I can, uh be on my phone while I drive the bike. Maybe this is not a good idea. I'm gonna use it for GPS. I'm gonna fill this little hole right here with some liquid cement and then stick the end of this thing I shaved off in the hole, let it dry, and that should be good. I'm gonna attach this battery pack to the side of the bike so I can charge my phone if it ever dies when I'm like out somewhere. I also wanted to cover up this riding on the side so I'm gonna spray the whole thing with the same green I used on the bike and then also do the same black and white accents on that so it blends in perfectly. I feel like it kind of looks like an ammo pack or something on the side of the bike. And then I use liquid cement and glued that to the side. Next thing I'm gonna work on is this thing on the front, this cup holder. The one I made with the lens cap actually works pretty well. I'm not gonna like change it too much. I'm just gonna drill two holes in the side of this thing so I can swap the shoelaces with zip ties. It's gonna be way stronger and it'll just look cleaner. Oh, and I'm also gonna spray the whole thing with light green. Okay, today is the fourth and final day. I have a couple more things I wanna do before I put all the pieces back together. This thing's all dry. This thing's dry too. I wanna build a trailer that I can attach to the back of the bike whenever I need, if I have like a lot of stuff. Cause a lot of time I go to the store and buy canvases and it's like impossible to get those back. And even with the basket on the back, the canvas won't fit in there. I'm gonna get stuff to build my own trailer that's specifically for a canvas. And it can like pop on and off only when I need it. Um, I just stopped on the side of the road. I don't know if I should be filming this or not, but there's Okay, just look at this. See that shopping cart right there? That thing's been there for like more than a week. I drive by it every single day and I never thought I needed it. I was going to the store to get something like that. I feel like if I record it, it's not bad, but if I did it off camera, that'd be like more sus, I don't know. It's just been in this bush for more than a week. Hey, just hit a lick. That was officially my first lick that I hit. Now I'm gonna try to build this thing for free.
Ewa. This is working so well. This is like the most fun I've had in a video for such a long time. I think it's because I'm actually gonna use this bike every day. That's why it's the most exciting. So hopefully this works out good. Put the wheel on here. Okay, so I just attached this thing to the back of the bike. Look at this. This is obviously not the final version. This is just to test if this even works out. I feel like when I turn, it might be weird. So I don't know. I'm gonna try this out real quick. <laughs> okay, now we can put the basket back on the bike. I'm gonna put the zip tie through here. Look how perfect that looks. All right, the basket is on completely. Look how cool this looks. Look it right on there. Wow, that was way easier. I think now we should just start putting the whole thing together. Let's put the cup holder back on first. Cup holder done. I got this on the side to hold stuff. Okay, now I just got this security camera. I know this is unnecessary, but this will be awesome. I'm gonna spray paint this so it blends in so it's like not really noticeable. And then I'm gonna screw it onto the front of the bike so it can pop on and off. Also, if I park my bike outside when I'm in the store, I can like watch this on my phone. I'd rather do that than have to like lock it up every time. I feel like it makes the bike look cooler. Look at this. I can go on my phone anytime and watch it live. Look. I also got this lighter. I'm gonna attach Velcro to it so I can stick it to the side of the box in the back. And then I also attached a flashlight to the other side of this metal hook. All right, the bike is all done. All right, I'm at the store right now. We're gonna test how everything works on this bike. I have the basket in the back. I'm gonna fill with stuff. I'm also gonna go get a drink. I'm tempted right now. All right, ready? Brown coffee also matches the bike. Also, if I were getting a canvas. This is awesome. These panels all painted, storage in the back, lighter on the side. I made this little tire cap yellow. Cup holder in the front. Security camera on the front right here. Battery pack on the side. Phone holder right here. Phone right there. Also got a flashlight on this side. This thing pops down, attach it, and then you just pop it back up and it's good. That was so much fun. Subscribe to Marco, he is so sexy and amazing.